I can imagine how you probably felt when you were about to interview Michelle Obama. I, I, I was nervous. I was very nervous. But now you're like, <laughs> hey, Mish. Hey, what's up, bestie Mish? I'm like, oh, okay, we got nicknames. Okay, okay. Does she like sign her text messages, XX Mish? No, I wish she did. That would be amazing. I'm gonna ask her to do that for now. <laughs> this is Pretty Big Deal. This is Revlon Rose and Shine. Rose, Rose and Shine. And this is the infamous trick. We, Katie, uses this eyebrow pencil on my lips. No, no. No. Anyways, so it, it contours your lip. And then we just do the rose and shine, and it just it brings it all together. But then you don't have to get filler in your lip. Thanks, Revlon. Live boldly. Hey guys, so today we're talking to Phoebe Robinson. She is a comedian and actress. She's a New York Times bestseller. She's obviously funny because she's a comedian, but she's an overall boss. Technology. Sing it out, I'm sister. Like a Oh yes, I can hear you now. <laughs> so fellow podcaster, this is very exciting. You started Black Frasier in quarantine. I did, yeah. And I mean, I kind of always had this idea of like an advice podcast. I think people really responded to the fact that like, this podcast is like not designed to be like, we have all the answers. Me and my guests, we have all the answers and you guys mm. are gonna learn. It's more like, this is a conversation we don't always know how things are gonna turn out, but like at least if we're connecting with each other, we will feel less alone. I love that. What have you truly learned about yourself in hosting Black Frasier? Yeah, I think when I was in my 20s, I wanted to have kids. And then as I got older, I was just like, I really like being an aunt and I really like- <laughs> You can give the kid back. <laughs> yeah, I really like leaving. <laughs> But also I feel like through my work and I tend to hire a lot of women, I feel like, I don't want to call myself a mentor, but I feel like I'm very nurturing in that mm -hmm. way. And I feel like maybe that is my purpose. Rather than being a mom, it's sort of like, kind of like nurturing this women, these women to find their own mm -hmm. power and become like these badass business women. I'm like, okay, that's my purpose. I'm gonna lean into that. Mm -hmm. But I think what I've learned about myself I would always joke with my boyfriend like, oh, I'm not smart enough to interview this person. Or, oh, I'm really nervous to talk to this person because you know, they have a PhD and I don't and blah, blah, blah. And now I just sort of kind of have been in a place where I'm like, I'm a person, you're a person. We gotta talk about some real life shit. And like so much of that is based on experience and based on how you process the things that happen to you, the things that you do to other people. So it made me really sort of stop kind of negging myself before I interview someone or feeling like I have so much anxiety the whole time to be like, oh my God, you're gonna say something stupid. It's just sort of like, even if I did, who who cares, you know? I was just gonna say like, I can imagine how you probably felt when you were about to interview Michelle Obama. I, I, I was nervous, I was very nervous. But now you're like, <laughs> hey Mish, hey, what's up, bestie <laughs> Mish? I'm like, oh, okay, we got nicknames, okay. Okay. <laughs> Does she like sign her text messages, XX Mish? No, I wish she did. That would be amazing. I'm gonna ask her to do that from now on. But the thing is, it's like, like I would just get in my head and she's like such a normal down to earth person. And then like five minutes after talking to her, you're like, oh, this is my home mm -hmm. girl. Like I don't need to like, like, yeah, she is like an accomplished lawyer, all these things, but it's like, I don't need to like, make this a bigger deal. Just be in the moment. Yes. I think that's what I've really truly learned is being in the moment when talking to someone instead of going like, okay, make sure I have my next question, make sure I'm looking okay, making sure like I say something funny. It's like, no, just be present because that person's being really present with you. So it only makes sense that you give that back in return. Yeah, the respect. Well, okay, mm -hmm. speaking of Michelle, I, you know, our, our, favorite first lady and let's just say like hypothetically mm -hmm. she is our president and she has you as her VP okay oh. I know this is this is a lot to handle right but what do you <laughs> what would be the first real thing that you do as vice president and what would be the first fun thing you would do as vice president okay the first fun thing I would do would be to change the national anthem to UT's beautiful day because they are my favorite band <laughs> And we need to hear that song all the time at every sport, sporting event, so yes. 
<laughs> Wait, give us a little, give us sing it a little bit. Oh, <laughs> I can't sing. It's a beautiful day. Hey. <laughs> Don't let it get away. Yes. It's a beautiful day. We have to tag Bono. <laughs> it's happening. <laughs> I'm sorry, Bono. <laughs> to hear the whole conversation, make sure to listen to Pretty Big Deal wherever you get your podcasts. This is Flamingo, and I'm obsessed with it. And I'll tell you why, because it's very moisturizing. I put it all over my body, but we're all out here washing our hands 24 seven, and they get cracky. So, not anymore. Ooh, sorry. Oh, sorry. I thought you had your eyes on me. Phoebe, it was so fun talking to you today. I love multi-talented people, especially people who don't put limits on themselves for what they truly can do and can achieve. So again, Phoebe, thank you. You are a true PBD girl. To hear the full conversation, click the link below.